Welcome back. Town leaders heard some mixed opinions about a plan to expand outdoor recreation in the town of Tonawanda. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Nikki Dementry tells us more about the plan and why some are so against it. This is the first major project in the town in probably 29 years. The project, a complete overhaul of three areas of the town of Tonawanda, Brighton Pool, the area around it, and then Lincoln Arena. Details both criticized and applauded by residents who packed council chambers. This means we are losing a pool where children are able to learn how to swim and to have Unstructured play Brighton Pool will be demolished in place of the ice arena you see here. The town expects architecture engineering from Carmina Wood Morris to begin the project this August or September. Next to the arena will be a splash pad, which will accommodate up to 200 kids and adults of all ages and abilities. And down the road, Lincoln Arena will be converted from an ice rink to an all-purpose field house. Now we have a project that uh, we believe is uh, not only going to break even, it's going to make money. All of this coming into the tune of about eight and a half million dollars. Town officials say they hope to bring that number down with grants, but that didn't ease concerns for some neighbors. That's what most of us here in town still believe it's financially feasible. Town officials argue that this investment will make a return on its investment. That's why Town Supervisor Joseph Eminger says he is now on board with the project. If we do nothing, we're going to end up losing money. The next step is to vote on the bond for this project, which Eminger your hopes will happen at the July 22nd meeting. We're addressing everybody from really the very young to the very old. The ice arena is set to be finished by mid-August of 2020, weather permitting. Nikki Dementry, 7 Eyewitness News.